Emil Vuase laments the fact that 50% of land in his domain have been taken over by bandits, thereby throwing thousands of farmers out of work. There's basically nothing that you cannot farm in Wasi. Unfortunately, 50% of the land mass has been taken over by terrorists. And people cannot go and farm. These analysts say until the Nigerian government is able to put to rest the activities of bandits, farmers will not be able to access their farmlands leading to food insecurity. I think that the most fundamental question is to ask ourselves, what is responsible for the food crisis in Nigeria? And how can we leverage robust research in order to engender sustainable development in the Nigerian polity? Many people would attribute the food crisis in Nigeria to the general state of insecurity in this country. If there is no security, it means that the farmer is not able to go to the farm. From Sokoto to Adamawa to Plateau, it's about death, displacements, injuries, and the key individuals that are today saddled with the responsibilities of calming people down are the traditional rulers, because every one of us is in the city. They noted that the place of research in tackling food security cannot be overemphasized and called on stakeholders to key to it and ensure its sustainability. Part of the reason why we have food insecurity in our country is because we are focusing on giving fish that either gets exhausted or gets spoiled. It is hoped that the Nigerian government will stop paying lip service to the issue of insecurity so as to encourage more farmers return to their farms.